But as the song says, we are officially on the road again. Wow, it has been a long time since we've been on the road. Um, five weeks. Five weeks. We are here in Corpus Christi, Texas. We were only planning to stay two weeks um, and then head out to Nashville so Caesar can start a new job out there. And then we had a little bit of an accident. Our daughter, Ivy. Uh, hi, Ivy. Hi, Ivy. That arm that she's waving with, she actually broke that elbow four weeks ago. And so she had a cast and we had to be stationary due to insurance reasons to get that um, cast taken off in four weeks. So that's why we haven't been traveling. But as the song says, we are officially on the road again. Uh, so today we are literally leaving Corpus Christi today. We took off our cast this morning. We're in the truck. We are heading out. We are on our way to Nashville. We're going to try and do our best to get there by Friday afternoon. It is Wednesday uh, from Corpus Christi, Texas to Nashville. And then I think that weekend we're going from Nashville to North Carolina because Caesar is doing a training for this new job. And then we'll spend a week there and head back. Um, what has been some of the uh, things that we've been doing to get ready for this trip? I think the biggest thing uh, is getting too relaxed and not doing stuff. Uh, yeah. as, as Lily and I were talking the other day that it seemed like we were sedentary for so long for five weeks here and then it comes to the day of that we got to leave and it seems like we're rush, rush, rushing. Oh, I forgot <laughs> this, I forgot that. Yeah. So plan ahead. Plan ahead. But the good news is, you know, the kids got a little antsy the first time that we ventured out to California have been eager to come back and see their cousins and they just want to stop traveling well these past few weeks that's all that our kids kept talking about is when are we gonna get back in the camper and when are we gonna go traveling again so I think they definitely missed uh, the road so that's exciting that they're finally uh, coming around and taking to it those, those of you who are wanting or thinking to do this uh, lifestyle get on the road and take off like I said before, practice, practice, practice with your RV. I unfortunately did not practice or was out of practice. And I crushed the driver's side left in, turning too close into my mom's fence, pulling it out of storage. You know, accidents happen. I mean, we don't expect this to be brand new forever. Uh, and, and they're not made of, you know, brick. You know, things are very um, delicate in an RV. It's made of tin, it's made of particle wood, it's made of things that can easily break. Wow, pretty uh, impressive, you know, particle wood. Oh, yeah. come on. I, I, I was a college student with cheap furniture at one time. Uh, particle board, particle <laughs> wood. Particle wood board, yeah, I mean, it's just, because I remember I used to like leave my cups on the desk or spill something yeah, and it would bubble up yeah. and yeah. I was more frustrated myself than anything else. I was I was like a uh, I was like a uh, unpleasant person to be around at that time because I was so upset at myself. <laughs> well, you know, he usually has me there to guide him, and it's because we're still new. We're still new to this. Like we said, we we just got this camper in May, June, July, August, September. We've had it for four months. Um, and it, you know, it's been parked for a month already, actually two months because we, we didn't even get on the road until mid June. Um, so yeah, we're still learning and he normally has me there to guide him in and out of a tight spot. And I wasn't with him that day when he moved the camper to where we were at to, uh, put all of our things in it. So yeah. don't get comfortable. I thought I, was, <laughs> I thought I was comfortable. I thought I was, uh, a professional moving in and out. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you were planning on <laughs> moving over. What's going? I didn't know if you knew that you were changing lanes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Don't it? get comfortable. Don't get comfortable uh, moving in and out of wherever you think you're going. Because I thought I was, I thought I was a badass moving in and out of the tight spaces. And no, 
I'm, I'm, I'm not. I got comfortable. Always be cautious. We're excited to, to see a new place. We've never been, uh, never been to Little Rock. We're going to drive through Little Rock um, tomorrow, and never been to Nashville. And since we're going to be in Nashville for three months for this job, uh, we're kind of excited. We're, we're, we don't know what the weather's going to be like this time of year. We looked it up online, but of course, you know, weather can be tricky. So we don't, and we know that there's some thunderstorms and some tropical storms and hurricanes forming near the Florida area, which is, you know, could bleed over or fall over, what do you call it, spill over into, um, the areas that we're going to be in for the next couple of weeks so we're cautious we bought our rain boots and our umbrellas and and don't know what to expect so we'll see it's All great right. to be back with you we will keep it going now that we're back on the road sorry for the delay sorry for the vacation that we had but we're back uh, let us know your questions let us know of any cool places in nashville or we're actually going to north, uh, Whitsitt, north carolina next week but we'd love to know must see places um you places know to avoid places, places to avoid areas to avoid yeah, for sure don't get stuck in the sand areas <laughs> yeah. yeah so yeah leave a comment <laughs> thanks bye make sure to check out our last video subscribe to our channel and follow our adventures on facebook twitter and instagram light camper action